Imagine the following situation. You are rushing out of the house, already have a thousand things on your mind, and suddenly realize you have lost your keys. But what if I told you there is a simple trick using just a few materials you probably have at home that can get you out of this mess without spending almost anything? The solution, surprisingly enough, starts with a trivial object, a cotton swab. Take a regular cotton swab and fold it in half, pressing firmly until you feel that the two ends are very close together. The second material is a safety pin. Using pliers, remove the sharpest part and then cut very close to the end of the pin spring. The piece we cut, the side where the sharp tip was, should be bent into a small curve, almost like a hook. Use the pliers to shape it and then to make sure it is perfectly aligned and without imperfections. Tap lightly with a hammer on an iron surface. This will make the metal straight, firm, and ready for the next step. Let us know in the comments which city and country you're watching this content from. We love hearing about where our videos are reaching and how they connect people around the world. Share where you're watching from and tell us a little about your region. We can't wait to meet each of you and form an even closer community. Now go back to the piece of spring pin that you set aside. Bend one end of the metal into an L shape, then make another bend parallel to the first, creating a small hook. This small device now needs to be inserted into one end of the cotton swab. To ensure the mechanism is securely attached, Use a little super glue in place of the cotton and wait a few minutes for the glue to dry completely. Then, wrap some sewing thread around it to secure it even more and reinforce it with an extra layer of super glue. The result is a small, rigid, sturdy instrument, almost like a mini wire that is resistant to the touch. If you're enjoying this content, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. This way, you'll further strengthen our work and ensure that you'll always receive the latest news firsthand. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any new videos and stay up to date with everything we've prepared, especially for you. Take the pliers again and make an L shape on the other end of the wire that was inserted into the cotton swab. This small bend is very important, as it will serve as leverage during the process of unlocking the lock. Next, use a lighter to lightly heat the cotton swab straw. Carefully make a small bend, creating a sort of crank. This bent part is what will give support and stability to our improvised tool. The end result resembles a mini lever-shaped device, prepared to act inside the lock cylinder. Insert the crank into the top of the lock cylinder. It will act as a lever, allowing for easy circular movements. Always force the crank clockwise, simulating the rotation of a regular key. Using the curved pin, carefully insert it into the top of the cylinder, working your way to the last pin. Using slow, back-and-forth movements, gently touch each pin, feeling each one release slightly. As soon as the last pin is released, continue the process to release all the other pins one by one, always using light touches without applying unnecessary force. The secret lies in the sensitivity of your fingers. You will feel small snaps and clearly perceive the moment each pin is released. If you've made it this far, it's because you're enjoying the content, right? So don't waste any more time and leave your like right now. That way you're supporting the channel and ensuring that you'll receive even more interesting news and tips directly in your feed. Repeat the movement, starting with the last pin and moving forward until all of them are unlocked. Don't rush. There is no need to apply force. Small, gentle touches are enough to release the internal mechanism. If the lock bolt does not turn the first time, 
return to the initial position and start the process again, always moving from the end of the pins to the beginning. Repeat as many times as necessary until you feel that all the pins are unlocked and the lock turns smoothly. The most interesting thing is that this entire mechanism can be assembled in just a few minutes without a significant investment. The materials used are accessible and easy to handle. A cotton swab, a pin, a bit of thread, super glue, and a lighter, items that we can easily find at home, can solve a problem that would otherwise cost time and money to hire an outside professional. To test it in practice, hold the lock or cylinder and apply the same method. Insert the cotton swab handle, insert the pin hook and make gentle movements, always feeling the right moment when the pins are being unlocked. The secret is patience and precision in the movements, firm and light touches, feeling each click, each unlocking with your fingertips. Of course, it is always important to remember, this solution should only be used to unlock doors on your property with respect for other people's space and property and never for illegal purposes. The main objective here is to teach you how to get out of unexpected situations safely and responsibly. Thanks for following and don't forget to share.